Now, Andrew, a story out of New South Wales that I find inexplicable at a time when the Liberal Party is... And we saw this at the weekend in Victoria. Similar things going to happen in New South Wales. They've got this ongoing battle against the Teals and yet they, they basically vote against a prominent Liberal woman from moving into the lower house. It just seems hard to understand why. Hard not to think this is bad news for the Premier, Dominic Perrottet. An extraordinary story out of New South Wales as Liberals prepare to attempt to take on the Teals as well as Labor in the state election in March. Senior New South Wales Minister Natalie Ward was looking to leave the upper house for the safe, very safe indeed, lower house seat of Davidson, but has been beaten in a pre-selection by a no-name former staffer, Matt Cross, 95 votes to 85. With the number of female Liberal MPs in the state parliament in decline and pressure to come from so-called Teal candidates in several seats, this has been described as a, quote, shocker, unquote, to me by a New South Wales Liberal source, who also predicted, and I quote, the Teals will have a field day in this seat. Cross was helped by the senior federal Liberal frontbencher Paul Fletcher in his pre-selection. My colleague Olivia Caisley re revealed that he wrote to pre-selectors supporting Cross. New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet and his deputy Liberal leader Matt Keane made several calls on the weekend in an attempt to get Ward up in the seat to no avail, but they had some effect when it didn't come to the local component. So the central vote component was 40 votes to two in favour of Ward, I understand, but the locals brought the pre-selection home for Matt Cross, Kieran.